Hey witches, welcome to this month's book review. Today we're going to talk about Advanced Magic for Beginners by Alan Chapman. Please excuse my hair coloring. I'm going to fix it, but we had a little mishap with it yesterday. I like how dark the black is, but I normally just do little red touch-ups and highlights because the sun bleaches out my naturally red hair so easily down here in Orange County. But um, this, it's not the color I normally go for. Please just disregard the hair for now. But anyway, back to the book. So this is a book that I would recommend to both absolute beginner witches as well as adepts and also adepts that are looking to get into chaos magic for like the first time. But I also read this book for the first time after I had about a year of of witchcraft experience under my belt as well as several months of research under my belt of looking into chaos magic. So, I, you know, if you're more experienced, whether with regular magic, witchcraft, I don't want to say regular versus irregular, but, you know, versus chaos magic, don't just like be like, eh, I don't need that. Uh, you might find this very useful and informative. And if you're someone who's not exactly interested in chaos magic, well, I still recommend this book anyway. Chapman goes over some of the most basic principles of magic, some of which are not included in the book that I reviewed last month before you cast a spell. And he does so in a very insightful, very straightforward, logical, and often extremely humorous way. And I just have to say, this is one of my favorite magic books. Chapman is one of the very few authors who write about magic with a sense of humor. Like, don't get me wrong, I know that magic is a serious practice. I mean, why would I dedicate so much of my life to it otherwise? Especially when you look at the spiritual aspects of it. But I also love embracing the humor of it, and I don't think that anybody anywhere ever should take themselves too seriously. And yes, that includes in magical practice. So this book is only 170 pages. It is very, very concise and I read it in a matter of, I think it was like three or four hours. So the thing is, even if you're not sure if this book is right for you, I mean, it's such a quick read, you may as well do it anyway. Plus, you can get it online for absolutely free and I will tell you how at the end of the video. As stated earlier, this is a beginner's book, so Chapman only really skims the surface when it comes to theories and principles behind chaos magic. However, he does give you just enough to set you on the right path. And so you know what you're doing and why you're doing it. It's not just like, oh, the, the instructions say to do this and then just do it. I'm not gonna tell you why. No, he'll tell you why. But you'll have to do further reading into Chaos Magic if you wanna delve deeper into it. And it does explore the fundamental principle that Chaos Magic is all about belief. Belief is the most important tool in your craft. And as I'm sure all of us know, this is not only true of Chaos Magic. This is true of any path, any tradition, any system of magic. So once again, it does apply to you even if you're like, nah, Tiff, I have no interest in chaos magic. And unlike last month's book, this one has 34 different exercises covering meditation, keeping a magical journal, sigil making, creating a ritual experience, and on it goes. I'm not going to give a whole bunch away. I'll let you read the book and find them for yourself. And like I said earlier, Chapman has a very logical, straightforward approach. There is nothing ambiguous about why you are doing these exercises or what you're going to get out of them because he will tell you. So if you are a beginner witch or beginner to chaos magic, read this book. If you are an adept looking to deepen your craft, read this book. So it can be purchased on Amazon, which of course is what I always recommend because, you know, you want the creators to get paid for what they do. But you can also get it online absolutely free. Uh, I believe it's PDF format. I'm not sure if you can actually download it, but you can read it right on a, I think it's the Sacred Texts website. And I'll of course put a link down below in the description box. If you've read this book, go ahead and put your thoughts down in the comments below, whether you agree with me or not. I would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so and hit the little bell so you get notifications and don't miss out on any new content from my channel. Don't worry, when I come back next week, my hair should be fixed. We will see. <laughs> if you have anything sassy you want to say about it, you can always hit me up on Instagram or email or say anything else not regarding my hair. Please, either one of those works or the comments below. And that is that. I will see you all next week.